There's a rarity for you all. With snow on the ground, Miss Soxie goes outside. I'm guarantee you she will not be out long. I'll bet you by the time this video is about done, she'll be ready to, to go back in. Uh, a little mix today. We had some sun a little bit, some clouds, a little more snow. <laughs> it happens. Uh, but anyhow, uh, here we are. So you can see the fire. We got the fire cranking. And it's nice and toasty warm in the house. Uh, all right. So anyway, uh, let us... Like I said, you can see over there it looks blue over there, but eh, behind the, eh, it looks like we're going to get back into the sunshine, which is okay. It was sunny out earlier, and then the clouds came. We had, a, like I said, you can see the snow kind of falling. But, uh, all right. Distractions, 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 right? Takes the focus off things that are going on. They keep us distracted. We don't pay attention to important things. Uh, like Biden trying to push through another spending bill, uh, you know there is uh, it is it is crazy. So now, and and couple th we're gonna we're gonna go over a few different things. All right. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the whole situation uh, with the Oscars, which is a complete, in my opinion, let me let me start off by saying that a complete fiasco. Uh, I believe it's completely staged because let's let's look at the reality. If Will Smith went up there and slapped him on purpose, charges he would have brought charges against him. 100% of the time, he would bring charges against him. Now, if you watch the video, I watched the video. I didn't watch the Oscars. I don't watch the Oscars because I don't care about them all congratulating themselves and t talking about how wonderful they all are to each other. But if you watch the Oscars, uh, you know, the, that, the scene... When Will Smith is walking up on stage, Chris Rock puts his hands behind his back and leans his face forward. Watch the, watch the clip, guys. You will see that. To me, completely staged. When he turns back after the slap, he's smiling. And also, Will Smith is smiling as he's turning. You'll see that in the clip as well. So that's not people that are angry with each other or upset or the one has just been attacked by somebody. Uh, all those, that's all BS, in my opinion. But that's all just another form of a distraction. All right, just another form of distraction. You know, and then, of course, they're bringing up the fact that, uh, you know, they're in an open marriage and who cares? I mean, that's, and it hasn't got nothing to do with any of the rest of us. So who cares who Will Smith or his wife is sleeping with? I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. Uh, you know, but, it's, but that was, another, you know, again, these are all distractions to take away from other things that are going on. Uh, you have uh, the whole Clarence Thomas thing. I don't know if you guys saw this one as well. So his wife had tweeted, not, not Clarence Thomas, his wife had tweeted different things about QAnon and all that type of thing and, and all that. You know, a lot of people were sucked into the whole QAnon thing, all right? But uh, Acosta Ortiz is, you know, demanding he either be resigned or impeached. I mean, these people are just, they, they amaze me. He didn't do it. And even if he did, doesn't he have the right to his own opinion? I mean, realistically, doesn't he have the right to his own opinion? It is amazing to me the games that are being played constantly. They dig up crap on people. I'm going to tell you what, there's not one person out here. I'm a, anybody out here, uh, if they dug through your previous tweets or your posts that you've posted on Facebook through the years, even if you've deleted them, if they could be found, they're going to find something that you did that was off-color, uh, considered racist in today's day and age. Uh, everything is racist in today's day and age. Um, it's absolutely got to a point of being completely ridiculous. But, you know, these are things that it's a constant thing that is going on. It's a constant game uh, that is being played. So, uh, you know, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, uh, it's just uh, it's a different world we live in, I guess. And that's just kind of where we're at with that one. But... Uh, Oh, fun times, fun times. So, but anyway, that, uh, you know, that's something that uh, 
I think is, is uh, like I said, there's a lot of different little things going out there that they're trying to capture your attention with when we should be really paying attention to details, watching. You know, it's like you can, you can watch with your eyes and you'll pick up details that you won't be able to hear when they're talking. Because when they're talking, you have to realize that uh, there is a lot of manipulation going on, uh, a lot of twisted stuff going on. There's always, uh, there's a double speak. Uh, the truth is not real familiar anymore with um, the news, unfortunately. Uh, it, there's an agenda. There's always an agenda. I mean, you look at, and I, and I'm up until that point, I'd never seen it so, so much before as I did when Trump was president. You had four straight years of the media just completely bashing him constantly over everything and now we have biden in office who i mean you look at his uh, speech that he did in poland talking for a regime change in uh russia and uh you know the the uh the white house is always having to backpedal and and try to explain what he really meant well we know what he really meant he said it so you know but they're always doing damage control um, they're always doing damage control with Harris as well. I mean, we got a, a couple of complete goofs um, as the president and the vice president right now. And then the third person in charge is Nancy Pelosi, and that's scary as well. So, And it's not a matter that they're Democrats, guys, okay? It's, it has nothing to do with the fact that they're Democrats. What it has to do with is that they're incompetent, should not be in office. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's frightening. It is absolutely frightening that these are the people that are leading our country. And, uh, you know, we got a, t a ton of issues happening. And it just continues. Um, it doesn't stop. So uh, crazy, crazy stuff going on. But, uh, you know, it's just there's a lot of distractions happening. We're being look over here, look over there. Don't pay attention. Always look for what they're not showing you. That's what my advice would be. Try to look behind that curtain and see what's really going on what games are really being played, uh, that should be your first and foremost concern. And I think people need to be more attentive to that. Now look at, what did I say to you guys? She had just come out. So we are eight minutes into this video and she is ready to go back in. What, are you done, princess? Yes? You're all finished with your big outing? I told you she wouldn't be out long. Oh my God, that's too funny. Uh, puppies are doing good. They're out for a little bit of a run right now. All chilling out there in the yard. Chickens are still locked up because the weather just hasn't been really pleasant. So we've kept them in. Um, I Let it be known, just so you guys know um, as well, some sad news also from the homestead here. Uh, Goliath died yesterday. Uh, I talked about it in my uh, private live stream for Hardcore Preppers last night. But, uh, yeah, Goliath died yesterday. Um, so uh, we are now down to one rooster. Uh, it was, you know, he, he was a very majestic rooster. He had a great run. Uh, he was in charge here for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, he got old and got sick. Uh, he's, like I said, now he's passed. And so now we have Foghorn Leghorn has taken over. So when people say to me, why do you have two roosters? That's why you have two roosters. Uh, we will probably incubate some eggs once we get settled in West Virginia. That's going to be the game plan. And, uh, you know, we'll add uh, more chickens to our brood. And uh, we will definitely, you know, keep a, keep a rooster uh, when that time comes. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, he, uh, he died and, uh, you know, but like I said, he had a great run. He was a great rooster. Uh, just, uh, he was a lot of fun. He was just, he was the man. He was the man. But, uh, now, uh, Foghorn Leghorn is the man. So, 
but uh, anyway so I just thought I would share that information with you as well uh, I will be doing a second video later I'm not sure what that topic is going to be yet I'll have to figure that out uh, this video will go up at 3 it is pushing 1 o'clock right now um, and you can see actually the sky's clear back up again here so let's go take a look really quickly we'll see what the solar is doing today we'll take a look at that all right let's see uh, 26.99 just went to 27 we have 1.6 kilowatt hours coming on this side 1.05 kilowatt hours on this side so right around 2.8 kilowatt hours between the two so not too shabby bringing in good power um, sun's right there and it's a good spot and we'll walk over I'll kind of show you how well it's hitting the panels right now so they're right in full sun so they're doing good nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all so all right so anyway guys uh, real quick I want to talk about my website preppernurse1.com we have the Preppers One community there, which is a resource that we have set up for you guys to be able to connect with like-minded people. It is free to join, but you do have to register. Uh, but no credit card information is asked when you register. Once you're registered, go in, check out the message boards. Also, look for people in your state or your country that are like-minded. Uh, again, it's a resource that we have set up for you guys to be able to do that there. Next thing would be... Uh, the Forefathers, which is the CBD and hemp store. Again, go to my website, preppernurse1.com. You will see the Forefathers logo. If you click on that, it will take you to their website. Once you're over there, if you decide to make a CBD or hemp purchase, uh, make sure you use the discount code PREPPERNURSE1, and that's the number one, not O-N-E, and you will save yourself 15% All right, on your purchase. Uh, last thing on my website, preppernurse1.com, you go in, you click on store, it will drop down, you will see Legacy Foods, you click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. We have the Legacy Freeze Dried Foods there. Um, that is something that we have set up for you guys, um, you know, there, so that you can purchase Legacy Freeze Dried Foods. Uh, GMO free, gluten options are available for people that need them, uh, it is also vegetarian, and uh, but there are beef and chicken options that can be purchased separately. You are a beautiful girl, you know that. Yes, god, that dog is such she's such a gorgeous dog. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little biased, but she really is a beautiful dog, and she's daddy's girl, so that's always a good thing, too. Uh, also, guys, uh, 25 year shelf life, largest portion size of any of the other freeze dried food companies, so definitely take advantage of that. Uh, anyway, what else? Uh, real quickly, um, I want to, you know, just to remind you that we really truly are all in this together, that we are one race called the human race, and as soon as somebody could figure that out, we would be in much, much better shape. Uh, we have to stop letting them divide us over race, religion, political affiliation, the vax, the unvax. All these are tools used to keep us fighting amongst each other. We have to stop doing that. We have to start working together. The sooner we do that, the better off we're going to be. Also remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing in day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that is going to stop you from reaching your goal is you. That's it. Nobody else. If you stay positive and stay away from the negativity, you're going to be just fine. All right? I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope your week is going okay. Be safe, and I will talk to you later tonight. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.